Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be unboxing and using my brand new mouse which is the Logitech G Pro. This thing literally just arrived in the mail so I figured why not do a video of me unboxing it and then a mouse cam video of me using it for the first time. I have been looking forward to using this mouse for a while because it has everything I've ever needed in a mouse. It's light, it's fast, it's small, it's nimble and it's has the best sensor on the market currently. I mean, I love my current mouse. It's the ZA11 for those of you that don't know. It is a fantastic mouse, but if you look at the size of it compared to my hand, it is a pretty big mouse. It's pretty weighty as well. And you know, I felt like trying something a little bit more nimble just to see if, you know, that might be where I am lacking in my aim. So let's get this box open on camera right here, just so I can show you guys the mouse. You will be seeing it for the first time as me and I am very good at opening boxes guys. I, I take very, very good care. I mean, if Amazon ever need me to return something, that is just not going to happen. But to be honest, I doubt I am going to need to return this mouse at all. Here it is in all of its glory. Look at it, guys. This thing is so light. Oh my gosh. This is my first time like properly feeling it without like any of the casing or whatever. And seriously, compared to my Zowie, this thing like it weighs like nothing and it is so much smaller. You can see how much smaller this mouse actually is. I really can't wait to start using this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it straight in. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the RGB lighting on this thing. It is kicking in already, and I have not even downloaded the software, just kind of cycling through all of the colors right now. And oh my gosh, this thing is so, so light. Only slight complaint is, as you can see here, this has actually got a braided cable. Now, if we go back to my Zoe mouse for a second here, you can see that this actually has a rubber cable, and this thing slides across the cloth so much easier just by sliding this around a little bit here I can kind of feel the cable tugging on the mat a little bit but either way this is still so much lighter and so much easier to use than my other mouse seriously it feels like there is absolutely no weight in this thing the only thing I can feel is the tension in the cable particularly like here where it's kind of straight I can really feel it kind of tugging there but other than that this thing literally feels like it's gliding on ice. Now, let's actually test the clicks because admittedly, I am going to miss the clicks of the Zoe mouse. I can't remember what the name of the switches in this thing are, but I'm pretty sure not many mice actually use this. And I love the switches on this mouse. I mean, just listen to it. It has like so much power to it. It's so loud. It feels so firm and I am really, really going to miss it. But the only thing I am not going to miss from this mouse is the scroll wheel. This thing is pathetic. I actually hate the scroll wheel on this mouse. I kept like accidentally knocking it whenever I would click and it would like make me change weapons for no apparent reason in other games. And I can already tell just by looking at this that the scroll wheel on this thing, oh yeah, it is infinitely more sturdy. So let's try a click or two. Oh my gosh, I like the sound of that. From the sound of that, this thing's actually going to be pretty good at jitter clicking. So I guess all that's left is to hop into some games and see what this thing's like. Okay, so here we are on Hypixel. I've configured the mouse exactly how I want it. I'm using my old DPI, the same sensitivity as before, and I have set the RGB lighting to red to match the black and red of my setup. I don't really think it looks that great on the webcam. It is really vibrant in real life, but the webcam's kind of low quality. I apologize for that, guys, but it is only a mouse cam after all. So we are going to put the new mouse to the test in this Aegis game right here. You know, the best mouse deserves the best map. So I'm not really too confident going into this game because although I am using the exact same DPI and sensitivity as with my other mouse, this thing is so much smaller and so much lighter that it just feels like like I'm using a super high sensitivity, even though it is exactly the same. But to be honest, that's not a bad thing because although I love my Zowie and I didn't put that chest plate on, I am very, very smart. But although I love my Zowie ZA11 and would totally recommend it, I don't know why I got the 11 version. I should have gotten like the ZA13 or the ZA12 because it's exactly the same mez, just, you know, a little bit smaller. And I do have small hands, so those probably would have 
have suited me better. But, you know, finally, I've got a mouse for my tiny woman hands. And honestly, it feels so, so comfortable. This thing fits perfectly. It's so, so nice to move around. Although, like I was saying, my aim is complete garbage because my sensitivity feels so much different. But I must say, the clicks feel amazing. I love the clicks of my Zoe mouse. But I think, honestly, I just love them for the way they sounded. This mouse is certainly a lot more tactile. I don't really have to press in as hard to actually click, which is nice. You know, I'll definitely be able to get that higher CPS. And let's see what CPS I can actually get with this mouse. I can still get pretty much the exact same as before. And what, what an intense end to the game. He actually called me a noob as well. Like... You, you walked off by yourself, bro. Anyway, let's hop into another game here because I'm not actually done testing this mouse yet. I want to get used to this sensitivity because I feel like once I am actually used to it, I am going to be so much better because I can already tell by barely using this thing that it is far, far better for my actual hand size and grip style. Like I was saying, the ZA11, I love that mouse and I still definitely recommend it, but I definitely went with the wrong size on that mouse. The only reason I got it is because it was actually the exact same size as the mouse I had before, but the mouse I had before was like my first gaming mouse, so I just bought whatever without actually checking like the size and the grip styles and all those kind of things, but now that I'm actually aware of those, I'm sure this thing will be the best thing ever for me. It's super, super nice to click with though. I just can't get over clicking with it. I want to try butter clicking on butterfly clicking on this thing, sorry, because it's quite a bit smaller, you know, the less space to actually butterfly click but we can still get ourselves up to 14 cps by doing that i don't tend to butterfly click all that often because you know i feel like it's a little bit too sweaty for sky wars but oh well as long as i can get those mega cps you know that's all that really matters right you gotta come over to middle bro you, you want a pvp battle with my brand new mouse you may as well fight me while i can't aim my dude although I'm going to be honest and say that that fight didn't really require all that much aim. So let's go over and end a pull. Okay, I didn't even need to end a pull. I don't know why I aggro pulled on that man. He almost stole my kill, but no kill stealing for you, sir. Get out of here. And I just noticed as well when hotkeying around, these side mouse buttons feel so, so nice. I don't know how to really describe them, but they're a lot softer and smaller than the ones on my ZA11, which I actually really, really like because I doubt you you can actually even hear these on the microphone like if i shut up for a second and press them you might be able to hear them a tiny, tiny bit, but honestly, I can't really hear them at all. And if we compare them to the ZA11 side buttons, they're in like the exact same location, which is perfect. You know, I'm used to pressing there, so that's fine. But listen to these things, man. They are clunky. It's just like clicking the main mouse buttons, you know. The ZA11 is definitely meant for huge hands. And I have midget hands, okay? I cannot be dealing with it. And it looks like we got Aegis again. The Hypixel gods are smiling down upon us. So let's hope we can actually wrap up this video with a really clean Aegis game right here. You know, 11 kills would be ideal. And somebody's already walked off by themselves. Looks like the Hypixel admins smiling upon me did not last for very long but you know we've still got the 10 kill dream that is very very much alive so hello mr cookie this dude has speed so he's obviously insane so let's take him out and strength on to the rest of the game who just isn't here what is this? This is ages. This is supposed to be where everybody goes to middle and there's just nobody here. What's up, Toxic White? Come on, man. You don't you don't have to run away from me like this. It, it doesn't have to be this way. Or maybe it does because you have absolutely no internet connection whatsoever. You're still on your island. We're like a minute into the game and you haven't even looted a single chest. That is actually really, really impressive. So let's go over here because this looks like where there's actual people, you know, intense Minecraft PvP. He's not even fighting back, dude. How am I supposed to show off and test the new mouse against these kinds of players? And now, of course, now we get an actual fight. Oh, we didn't actually get strength. Somebody stole my kill. Somebody touch my kill? What is this? You, you can't be stealing my kills like this, guys. This is not okay. Was it you that stole my kill? I don't know if it was you, but either way, you are going to die. And now you are going to die. You're actually super stacked. So I'm glad that I did indeed have strength for that fight. Where's that diamond helmet at? You kidding me? It's like the one thing I needed and the one thing that didn't go into my inventory. That's a feels bad right there. 
Hello, this is a guy who's just fighting, so hopefully we can wrap up this fight before he actually starts running away again. And I hit him once, and he's running away. This is a very weird game of ages. Pe people don't normally play this map like this. Where's the strength chains at middle man? Where's my 10 man strength chain? That's supposed to be how ages goes. You aren't supposed to actually know how to play the game. Okay, he doesn't really know how to play the game. And again, we got another person calling me a noob man. He went off the map by himself and thankfully that kill gave me an end of pulse so we can just wrap up that game with seven kills. Not so bad, I guess, but overall, I love this mess, guys. I would definitely recommend it. I also recommend my old mess. Honestly, that mess is also amazing. And obviously, those were my first and only games using this device. So maybe it's just beginner's luck, you know. I might end up hating it by later in the day. But seriously, this thing is so comfortable. And it's got RGB lights, man. Like, as much as I love the Zoe ZA11, this thing looks like an office mess, dude. This looks like it's centuries old. It doesn't have RGB. So anyway, guys, that does it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're brand new to the channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Epic. Three letters, don't forget it. Pronounce soul, but I got soul in excess. The next best to the best, but the best ain't rain yet. So I guess we all kings, yes. A rising tide will raise all boats, but if you throw stones.